freedom of movement of goods, capital, services and people. L'initiative de Schengen. And now we have 25 countries covering 4.3 million square kilometers and 400 million people. Good morning, beautiful people. <laughs> Hello, we are on our way to Belgium. We are so close to the Belgian border. So we decided today, why not go to Belgium? Europe being so small or so close to one another country, we decided to go for lunch to Belgium. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to go get frites, which is very popular in Belgium. And I mean, who doesn't love chips? and also some waffles because you have to have Belgian waffles if you're going to Belgium. So today we are driving 35 minutes to the town of Mons. I hope I'm pronouncing that yeah. correctly. Oh. Oh, Max, you're in the middle of the road and there's a car coming. And then once we've uh, um, had some lunch and visited Mons a little bit, we have about a two and a half to three hour drive back to Max's other uncle's house, which is Poisson Maison. Me, okay, so let's go get some fruits. Yes. Clear on that side. Not clear. Clear. We're in Belgium and we didn't even know. There's no sign, no welcome to Belgium. There's no border crossing. We just entered another country without even realizing. Oh my gosh, lucky I bought my passport. <sighs> oh, how crazy that you can just go into a whole other country and you don't even know that you've done that. I love it. From what I can read about the town, it's not a very big town, but cute and beautiful and has some cool street art and some really old historical buildings. Okay, we are in Belgium, in Mons officially. We've just found a park and now we are heading towards the Grand Place where hopefully we'll find some yummy Belgium lunch and some waffles. So our mission is to go to a fruitery, find a waffle place. What's it called? Waffle house? Waffle house. A waffle house and get some waffles <laughs> and then just walk around and experience the town. a stronghold in the 14th to 16th centuries and this is actually the capital city of this region of Belgium. It's like a, a young Frida. has the bell tower there where you can climb to the top now it's sunday so we don't know if it's open but there's apparently how many bells 47 47 bells in there so mm -hmm. we're gonna attempt to climb it and it's, it's unusual because the bell tower is actually not attached or inside the church it's actually its own building which is very rare in europe or anywhere in the world really so yeah, it's open tuesday to sunday from 10 to 6 p.m that might be the price of our lunch, so I don't know if we're going to climb to the top of it. Yeah, it's a fancy one. Yeah, what are the odds? Finally, tourism works now outside for what? Wow. This is cool. I'm so glad we got to do this. Yeah. 
on our ways. for some timing. I know. I've never been in this <coughs> bell tower. There's some good old bells as well. I mean, it's still like very really rustic hardwood here. Oh, well, I mean, But then the mechanism this, is. This building was built in the 16th century. Yeah. It's actually not the first one. This is the third one. The first one was uh, destroyed by fire. And the second one collapsed because it was not structurally sound. And so this is the third tower that they've had in this very spot in Mons. And yeah, this one's been here since the 16th century. 5,500 kilos for the Great Bell. So the biggest bell they have here, that's insane. I probably wouldn't have been happy to pay $30 to do it, but it was really cool for something that was free. And we got to see the bells go off while we were in there, so that was pretty awesome as well. So, very happy we came on the first Sunday of the month. Now it's time to go get some lunch because I am very hungry. So we're gonna get some fruits. So, that's the traditional way of having french fries in Belgium. It's called a frittery. Okay. Let's try that. Okay, I don't know what any of these are saying. Frikadil. We asked to get the traditional ways of getting the fries, which is in the cone. And let's see what it comes up. I don't know, I don't know exactly the traditional sauce you put on this, but we asked him as much as best as we could to make it traditional. <laughs> he was actually really kind because I said, can we please have it in the cone just for the video if it doesn't normally come like that. So he's going to do that for us. Hey Max, we're in Belgium we're right in now. Belgium. <laughs> I woke up in France. I'm having lunch in Belgium. I'm going back to see in France. Yeah, back to France for aperol and dinner. And Netherlands is just a, an hour drive from here. Oh my God, we could go to Netherlands for dinner. Yeah. It's just wild. Like it's just so... Small. Yeah, it's and just a different ways of seeing the, the world yeah. in this continent. Uh -huh. And it's really funny because anyone who is European and is watching this is probably like, what are you freaking out about? It's so normal. But in Australia, you can drive like 18 hours and you'll still be in the same region. Not even in, like, it's just crazy. That's a lot of fruits, <laughs> massive, and our veggie burgers. Interesting, interesting. No salad or vegetables, but there doesn't seem to be any vegetables, so definitely not healthy. But that's okay. And then that's the normal way of delivering it. Yes. Of serving. So he did this especially for us. So mm. that was a good chip. Another like good chip. Mm. Mm. This is just an incredible amount of fries. This would be a whole meal just for me. Oh my god, that was a Oof. that's lunch. <laughs> Calorie intense lunch. Yeah. Our second mission was to get some waffles, so we're walking down now. Hopefully it's open. We don't know because it's Sunday. But uh, one of the things I really love about European towns is they always have a main square and then the main square is surrounded with restaurants. So you can just sit there and eat or have a drink and people watch. It's really 
Yeah, people. Uh, I well, like I it. I feel like European love people watching. I like people watching. Yeah, I mean, I guess a lot of people do. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the city's the whole atmosphere of the square is you see what's going on yeah. and you have and your like, lunch. Yeah, and like everyone's show. there. Yeah. You know, the whole town. Waffle place is open. Victor de Gaulle. Right. It's cheap. Well, yes. affordable. Two euro for an apple waffle. Mmm. What? Alright. We have our Belgium waffles. Moment of truth, people. We went for the uh, traditional one. Yeah. Okay, this is actually really hard to do. Oh, they're actually so hot. They're like, I don't think I can even eat them yet. Okay. Oh yeah. You know I've never had a fresh waffle ever. This is good. What does it taste like? Like a waffle. It tastes like batter. Slightly undercooked batter. Like I like I think it's meant to be that way, but that's how it tastes. With lots of sugar. Alright, a trip to Belgium was a success. Honestly, could have done without the fruits. They're good, but they're just chips. <laughs> Definitely could have had something a little bit yummier, but now we know it was still a really cool town to come visit. And now we have, I think about a three hour drive back to France, but it's only from Max's uncle's house about a two hour drive to Paris. So if you are in Paris, you can literally drive to Belgium for lunch and be back in Paris for dinner. That's crazy. Whoa. Two and a half hours drive from Belgium and we're back in France and home. <gasps> All right, time for a coffee and a chill. See you next time. But I mean, the Prius, guys, <laughs> I don't have time for this nonsense of petrol. <laughs> Thank you.